Hello everybody. Fear not sufferance, but fear the silence of intellectual intellectuals when there is social injustice. I come from a country where politicians have become businessmen. As soon as they get in office, they become rich in a blink of an eye. I come from a country where corruption has become a fashion. And corrupted politicians have become the model for youth. And talking of the youth, 67% of the population of my country are people ages from 0 to 35 years old. And yet, 57% of this population is unemployed. And yet, these people are intellectuals. They spend the time within the society criticizing the policy that is being done. No employment, educational system is corrupted. But nobody is taking this tape to talk to these politicians. But do not think that I'm pessimistic. I believe in that youth. I believe in those people. I believe in those intellectuals. I believe they can make a change. This is where I see the opportunity. You ask where is the opportunity? The opportunity is their voice. Their voice is a contribution to the change in the society. So for me is to build or to invent a platform for these intellectuals to raise their voice against the injustice that is being done by the politicians. A platform where we can invite the president of the, of, of the country and ask him questions about the decision that is being taken in the country. A platform where we can call the prime minister, MPs, and ask him questions about what is happening in the House of Assembly, why such laws are being designed for my, for my country. So this is, this is my opportunity for the youth of my country. Thomas Paine said, if there must be trouble, let it be in my day that my child might have peace. One of the reasons why youth is not raising the voice is the fear of sufferance, fear of oppression. But I think, I think we can work this out through this platform. And this is the opportunity I invite all the youth to join me in this platform and talk about our issues and make change in the country. Thank you very much.